Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and Naming an Air Mass. An air mass is a large mass of air in which temperature and humidity are the same throughout. For an air mass to form, the air must stay over the area long enough to pick up the characteristics of the area. Air masses are named after where they are formed. A maritime air mass forms over water. They are moist and are represented with a lowercase m. A continental air mass forms over land. They are dry and are represented with a lowercase c. In addition, an air mass is named by their temperature. A tropical air mass is warm and is represented with a capital T. A polar air mass is cold and is represented with a capital P. And an arctic air mass is very cold and is represented with a capital A or sometimes A. An air mass contains two names. The first name is always lowercase and describes where it is formed and the amount of moisture the air mass contains. The second name is capitalized and describes its temperature. Let's look at some examples. A lowercase c capital T air mass is a continental tropical, which means it will form over land, that's continental, is dry, and it has warm air because it's tropical. A lowercase m capital P air mass represents a maritime polar air mass. It forms over water, that's maritime, will be moist and cold because it's polar. A couple more examples. A lowercase c a will be a dry, very cold mass of air formed over land, that's continental, and it's arctic, so it's very cold. What about lowercase m capital E? Around the equator, you will find very warm, moist air. So the lowercase m capital E is a maritime equatorial land mass, and it will be very warm because it's equatorial, and it will be very moist because it's maritime. I hope that helps in naming air masses. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.